right, so we have two questions we are going to ask today. Question one, is can we go to the entrance of every single park? I think, yes, yes we can. Question two, can we then go to every entrance of every park using every single mode of transportation in Disney World? And I also think that is a yes. Now, that these two questions might be very easy, but here's the catch. I, um, I woke up with four hours of sleep at 7.15. I would just like to point out for the record that it is uh, 2.50 in the morning and I'm now going to sleep. But I have until the latest of one to do all of this because I at one o'clock, I have to get on an Uber and drive back to the airport to fly back to OU. So we're gonna see if we can do that. And we're starting at the hotel. It's gonna be another long day. So let's let's do it. All right, so I'm a big one just from potatoes and water. Uh, Cause if I eat too much, my stomach's gonna start hurting. But I did get a chocolate milk that I'm gonna save for a little bit later. Our first uh, motor transportation of the day is the shuttle from the off-property hotel. Now, Disney around uh, around Disney World, there's a bunch of hotels called Good Neighbor Hotels, and I say that Marriott Fairfield Inn, which is one of those Good Neighbor Hotels, and they often offer. Um, shuttles from the hotel to Disney parks so technically the shuttle should be departing in two minutes um, and it's not it's not here yet so we'll see what happens but we're gonna get on the shuttle to go to our first park of the day okay so here in here are the upside and the downsides to um, using a shuttle from a resort off property. Number one, um, even though it is uh, like included with your thing most of the time, with like your room and stuff, um, you of course have to account for the fact that you need to tip, uh, cause you know, these drivers are not getting paid that much and tipping is important. Number two, um, due to the fact that there's not that many buses from these places, you might end up at various places. Like, for example, it is 8.30, and we got on the bus at 7.50, and we went to the Transportation and Ticket Center before we went to the park that I'm at right now, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. Number three, as you can see, we are in the parking lot. Um, these buses have to go to the actual, like, rideshare lots, instead of the official Disney um, bus pick up and drop off. So that is what you need to know before you decide if you want to go uh, use a shuttle for a hotel that is off of Disney property. But that's what we did today and I still think we can accomplish everything we want to do today. But we will see. That being said, we are at the amazing, very out of the way, Animal Kingdom. So welcome to Animal Kingdom, where the palm trees are swaying, and we can actually get pretty far into the park and do some things that we can't do at other parks. Like for example, there's a store right there, not open right now, but normally if we were to come here, it'd be open and you could do some shopping. Or, on the right, there's a Joffrey stand, so you can get your morning coffee. Now, of course, we're not going to do this at this place. There's going to be another place that I really want coffee, because the cool thing about Joffrey's is every different stand has, like, a different special beverage. Like, that is whatever that is. It is the Savannah Banana Latte. So... Here you can get the Savannah Banana Latte, but we're gonna get something different at a different Joffrey's location. And another, another thing about Animal Kingdom is they have a rainforest cafe, which like, it's a rainforest cafe. That's awesome. So we're at Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna take a picture and then we're gonna head right on out of here. Okay, so we're leaving Animal Kingdom. We're actually gonna use our next um, 
our next one of transportation is it a bus it is actually a minivan powered by lyft lyft and minivan uh or lyft and disney have partnered to create their own um like ride share service that'll pick you up straight from the bus stops and take you to where you want to go so we're going to use a minivan uh which has always been really cool and something we want to do to go from one park to the next so like i said you just go to the bus stop every every park is a bus stop to uh that is just four minivans so that's where we're at now and we're just gonna wait now while we're waiting i want to say that minivans are on your pricier side like for example this one and i'm just going from animal kingdom to hollywood studios but this one costs 36 dollars versus a lift that if i were to go to the rideshare service would have cost eight um but you know we're all about doing all of the disney transport today which includes minivans i think that's my minivan yep that is right there there we go <clears throat> and i'm on a bus they've had a lot of new bus routes recently and i think it's really cool um but yeah there's there's our minivan hop on it, hop over to Hollywood Studios, and then we will go from there. Okay, so we made it, it was really easy. Um, my minivan driver was Stuart, and uh, it was really cool. Uh, we had a nice conversation actually. He gave me a tip that I am gonna use later uh, today in the challenge. So when we get to it, I'll, I'll let y'all know that it was from Stuart the cast member. Uh, we were actually, we talked like the whole way. It was a really cool conversation. Um, he was talking about uh, like, this is, uh, he's been with the Walt Disney Company for 17 years. And he's been like literally all around, uh, working all around Walt Disney World. Um, and so like it, I don't know, he was, it was really cool. Minivan service, uh, it gets you literally like from any point on Disney property to any other point on Disney property. Um, the only downside I would say is the price that you're looking at. Even if it's just one person, you're looking at $36 ish, probably more or less, depending on where you're going, um, per van. So that's, that's my main downfall of that. Um, but as you can see our next mode of transportation behind me, uh, the Skyliner, but right now we got to get past security at Hollywood studios get our pictures and videos, and then walk right back out. Okay, we're leaving Hollywood Studios. Two parks left, lots of transportation left, let me tell you. Um, but we're, we're, we're easily gonna make this and then have time to go do our like bonus activity that I wanted to do, so we'll be fine. Our next mode of transportation is the Skyliner. It is Disney's newest mode of transportation. Um, this one gives you a, a few resorts as well as Epcot and Hollywood Studios, which I guess by saying that, that means we're going to Epcot next. We're in a Winnie the Pooh one. Huh. Okay. Okay, let's go. While well, we're about to take off, I'll film this. All right. It is, as we take off, 100% chocolate milk time. Let's go. see if we can get my favorite sound. It is the the chime on the Skyliner. It's one of my favorite sounds. So we'll see it. We're gonna we're gonna stay on until we can get it and we're just gonna go ahead and be at Carib Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach. There it is. Uh, we're good. More than enough space. Uh, all right, here's the rule. At every resort we stop at, and we actually like get off and walk around, we have to get something. I planned ahead for this. Right outside of the Skyliner station is, just so happens to be a Joffrey's Coffee place featuring my most favorite Joffrey's drink, the Toffee Flight. And there's a little bit of a line, but like, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Iced Toffee Flight Latte. 
last time I had this was December of 2022. I've only dreamt of it since then. So, it lives up to the hype. All my hopes and dreams were answered right there with this. All right, we're gonna get back on the Skyliner to go to Epcot. Off we go again. This time in a one with no wrap, so we get to just enjoy the views. So any second now we're gonna we're gonna get going unless they're stopping it. Are they? There's it's slowing down. Are we okay? Okay. All right. Hold on to your straw hats. We are about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. There's the tower over there. There's your old man. There's the tower. Um, Epcot, like we said. Um, we are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. All the way Home over to a collection there. of tropical villages and then inspired by the colorful island. We can't. They're not going to see anything for Animal Kingdom. Well, island. actually. Okay, that little. I don't see it. You can't see it. Okay. Well, hold on. Okay, right there. That mound is either Galaxy's Edge or Expedition Everest. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna be completely honest. Station. I don't Please know how I did this. this I think I'm gonna, gonna see it all. There's, I spilled coffee on my shirt. And like, for the purposes of this video, I just did not need to tell you that. But like, everyone's gonna see it. Anyway, we're, I'm gonna turn the camera around because we're in the really cool station that just turns you 90 degrees. There's actually two of these stations that turn 90 degrees, except one of them is a resort. Um, so, the Riviera Resort turns you 90 degrees to get you over here, and then there's this. This is only built to be able to turn, and it turns you to boot you out the rest of the way to Epcot. Alright, as you can see, this is not the front of Epcot. Epcot actually has two entrances. One is the front of Epcot, which we went in yesterday. If you are planning to visit World Showcase today, now might be a good time to practice your olas, ni hao's, and konnichiwas. When you arrive at each nation's pavilion, cultural hosts will be waiting to greet you in their native language, helping make your visit to Epcot a truly international exchange. Um... But in the back of the park by France, there's the International Gateway. Um, that's for all of these resorts right here that are in the Epcot Resort area. You can just walk right in and for the Skyliner. But there's a lot of go away green and not theming. So it kind of just a tiny little bit ruins the magic for you. But, but that's okay. Oh look. We are now arriving our next transportation, Epcot. right there. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. All right, so while we're at Epcot, before we leave, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it because it's literally like right across the way. We are gonna take the friendship boats. And I was told specifically to go to the second stop by Stort, our minivan driver, because the first stop is Swan and Dolphin, which isn't actually owned by Disney and therefore the buses will not take me to where I need or want to go which I completely forgot about, so that is a very, very good point. I've never actually been on the friendship boats before. By the way, I'm just realizing that I have not been keeping all updated on time. It is 9.45 right now, so... We should have plenty of time to complete this and then still go hang out at the Disney Springs, which is not technically a park and it's not technically transportation, but we're gonna, for purposes of today's challenge, due to the fact that we are already at our third park this early, I'm gonna go ahead and count it. All right, we are now at the Yacht and Beach Club Resorts and We've actually been here in the past. The last time I was here, we stopped by to look at the gingerbread carousel, uh, which was very interesting and very cool. The 
but now we're just passing through to get to the bus stop. But of course, since we're at a resort, we have to get something. And I think today, or I think this time, it's gonna be a little food. Cause you know, if you remember breakfast, I, I did not have anything. Something special about the Yacht and Beach Club Resort is that A, they have, uh, they share a pool um, in the middle of the property that connects the two resorts and two, their pool, I'm pretty sure is the only pool at Disney that has a sand pit bottom. So normally it's like concrete or something, but here it is sand. There's Goofy and there's Donald. I did not know there was a character breakfast here, but look at that. All right, well, guess now we're starting a character counter. Let's see who else we can pe see peeking through. Yeah, there's Donald. Let's see what other characters we can see by peeking through. Cause like, I didn't, I did not expect to see characters today. But here we are, oh, let's see, there's Minnie. And Daisy. We have now already seen more characters than we saw yesterday, where we were supposed to meet characters. I mean, we didn't, we're not necessarily meeting them, but like, but like I see them. However, I just still don't think any Mickey. No Mickey. Most Disney resorts have like a quick service area or a grab and go in a little store that you can actually get stuff from. Um, we're gonna get something from the grab and go area because I don't wanna wait for food. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know what we're gonna grab, but we're just gonna we're gonna get something and then we gotta go. Like we, we still have to go. We still have stuff to do. And this will probably be the scariest one with the longest wait. So yeah. Another huge mode of transportation across Disney World are the official Disney buses. Now, these run all day, every day. And for the purpose of this, we have one more park we haven't gone to. So we're gonna find, we're gonna find the Magic Kingdom bus stop, which is right, right over here. Let's see, when's the next bus? 1018, it's 1005 now. Okay, we must have just missed one, but that's okay. We, we're at the bus stop, we'll wait, and we'll get on the next bus. Do we get on the Remy bus? Ratatouille bus? Maybe? <clears throat> I'm gonna say yes. All right, we got on the Remy bus for Magic Kingdom. We're gonna sit all the way in the back. Look, there's a, a Magic Kingdom right there. This is where we're going next. It's the train. There's a nice mountain. The right there. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Um, literally the same plan as all the other parts. We're going to go in, get our stuff and then leave and go on a different mode of transportation. This is all there actually, like they have all this set up, like security has its own building now. I have not seen those walls there before ever. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty, pretty new, all things considered. Let's see, peeking back there is the castle. Unfortunately, we don't get to see that today, but we do get, we do get the Magic Kingdom train station, which is, Still good, still good, still great. We're gonna we're gonna get a nice picture in front of it. Cause actually there's like this is where the exit is, so it's not that blocked actually. But yeah, the only unfortunate part of this is that I don't actually get to go in the parks. Otherwise this would just literally be the perfect day. But that's that's just fine. I'm fine with that. Oh, that's not the monorail. Okay, so we were gonna get on the river boat and uh, do that, but it's uh, it's one way right now. So we have a little, we're gonna have a little contingency plan right now. We're gonna take things a little, little bit unconventional and different. That being said, we're going to start with the resort boat dock and you will see where that takes us. Um, it's okay. I, 
am just fine with that. We're chilling. And while we wait for this boat to, or the next place we're going, which we were already gonna go, by the way. Like this was already in the plan. We're just doing it a different, different way. While we're waiting to go where we're going next, it's a great time to tell you that all these trips you can plan, but you can't plan perfectly. Um, so you always gotta be able to have room to pivot and try something else. And that is why I always have, uh, I always have plan, plan B's and C's. Like, like we're gonna be stuck in the Magic Kingdom Resort area for the next little bit because there's a lot of transportation that you can find only here. So when one thing doesn't work, you just have to jump around. But that does mean we'll be back at Magic Kingdom later, which will be awesome. Okay, here's our boat pulling in at 10.55 a.m. Meaning that we have just over two hours until we have to leave. Which, I mean, I still think this is entirely possible and we can do everything. The only tricky part is if we can catch a bus or something that'll go to Disney Springs. Um, so we might we might be stuck at the Contemporary, but I'm not I'm not complaining with that. That's fine. Like, the Disney Springs is always the bonus if we can add it on, so we'll take this. Unfortunately, they're not going to where I thought they were going. Um, okay, so maybe that's not our boat. Or maybe they're dropping get no, because there's a security checkpoint here. I don't know where they came from. Or where they came from. They, I know they, they came from Polynesian over there. So I don't know, hopefully someone picks us up here soon. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The um, the boat's here to pick us up. That's great. I don't know what that one's doing, but that one is here to get us. All right, we are now at Disney's Polynesian Resort. Um, this is one of my favorite resorts on Walt Disney World property. Um, with its amazing theming and yummy snacks that we're about to go find. Um, it truly has something for everyone. It has this amazing volcano slide, and you slide through the volcano, um, which is awesome. Like, I mean, would you want to slide through a volcano, right? Like, I'm, I'm not crazy here. But... We're gonna, we're gonna keep trekking until we get to this amazingly sweet snack. All right, the Polynesian Hotel lobby with its honestly amazing smell and amazing painting. Like, it's awesome here. I love it. Now, even if I'm not staying here every time, I have to find, I gotta find myself here, you know? Like, you can't go to Disney and not stop by Polynesia. Are you changing right now? Let's see. There's a little mini, Luau mini. Oh, and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. That's awesome. Love them. Let's see. Alright. Polynesia. We're gonna turn left right on out of here and go to Pineapple Lanai, which has Dole Whip. All right, I think we're just gonna sit, sit down here, enjoy our Dole Whip really quick, and then keep going. Next mode of transportation, we're gonna hop right on this monorail. It just got here, so this this is epic. We're gonna get right on the monorail and ride it. Here's a new hotel that they're building, and I genuinely just don't remember what it's called or what it's for. I think it's DVC, um, but like Feature Bill's gonna pop in right now and like explain that. Okay, we are at the transportation and click center and we're trying to get to the river boat to go back to Magic Kingdom. We are almost done. It's currently 11.50. So here's the plan. I don't think we're gonna make it to Disney Springs. I'm probably, depending on when we get to the next location, probably gonna call it, uh, but that's okay. Disney Springs was never 
never like a thing I planned on doing. It was just bonus if I had time. So we don't, it's okay. I planned for it. It wasn't an original part of the challenge I was doing, but just would have been fun. So we are right now going to the ferry boat. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. The castle across the river, the Seven Seas Lagoon. We're getting on the General Joe Potter. I don't get on this often. I'll be completely honest with you. I'm on the riverboat every once in a while, but not all the time. So, it's gonna be really fun. Back at the Magic Kingdom, one final time with one more place to go. Here we are once again at the Magic Kingdom and here we are once again immediately leaving the Magic Kingdom. There's another form of transportation that you can do around Disney. All around the park, you can take walking paths to and from different hotels and different areas to the parks and stuff. And so we are gonna demonstrate one of those by walking from the Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary Resort. So if you just walk past all the exits and stuff, you'll get to this walkway right here. And if you follow it all the way straight past the bus loop and across the street, you will make it to the Contemporary Resort. just right there. It's so cool. Oh, and then if you go past here, you get to peek a little bit backstage. Like there's a uh, Space Mountain and then behind it is peeking out in blue is Tron. Um, so yeah. And we're technically now off of Magic Kingdom property. We just walked through security when we passed that monorail. So... We keep on trekking to the contemporary. Way better view of Tron, right there. And then there's the front. I wish I could ride Tron, but fortunately, unfortunately we went to Epcot this time, but that's okay, I wanted to go to Epcot more. So next time we do this, we'll have to do, we'll have to do Tron. But Magic Kingdom is definitely gonna be harder because it has a lot, and I mean a lot more rides. Next time we do this, it's either going to be Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. And the third time, we'll do the other park that we haven't done yet. Um, I didn't notice I didn't say Animal Kingdom because there is not one at Animal Kingdom. As we're walking up to the bus station, here's, here's what we're going to do. We were going to hop on a bus and go to Disney Springs. And I know I could get there before I have to leave. However, once I get there... I'll pretty much immediately have to leave and we don't get to hang out there or anything. So there's, in my mind, pretty much no reason for me to go. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get lunch at the Contemporary and then go ahead and do our next transportation to head to the airport because we are going to be unable to hang out at Disney Springs if we were to go. See, a little more recently, the Contemporary got a refurbished little re-theme refresh to be themed around the Incredibles. Uh, so like all the rooms are more Incredibles themed, except I don't actually know I don't think like any of the bottoms more themed. Oh, there's an Easter egg competition here. Look at that. That's really cool. Love the Mr. Potato Head one. Love the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Love Eve. Yeah, those are definitely my top three favorites. All right, so we're on the second floor, which is the convention center part of a uh, uh, contemporary resort. Um, but we are gonna continue right on up to the fourth floor, which like, that's crazy that people would take these stairs. That's a lot of stairs when you can just take an escalator right on up. 
So the fourth floor is going to be your shopping and dining areas. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to both shopping and dining. But first thing first, we're going to peek through the Contempo Cafe. We're going to peek into Chef Mickey's to see if we can see Mickey and Pluto. Because those are the only characters that we could see here that we did not see at the other there's birds in here what i'm sorry i just saw a bird fly in here which makes sense because it's literally open to the outside with monorail yeah look at that you see see the birds on the monorail tracks look at that that's crazy uh no i don't see the characters i'll film again if i do see the characters we're gonna run over to the shopping area really quick and we're gonna come back and go grab some lunch Okay, there's so many little buddies over here. Like, there's there's a Mickey. There's a there's a Zazu, which is really cool. There's a Nightbear Before Christmas, like Vampire Teddy Bear. That's pretty crazy. There's Groot. We already got Groot though. There's a Grogu, which really tempting, but I'm not gonna get it because I saw another one that I think I need more. There's uh, the guy, this little guy from Frozen 2. But here's what I think. I think I'm getting, I'm getting squirt. Cause like, dude. To give me some fin. Noggin. Dude. All right, we are back at the Contempo Cafe to get food and then get to uh, the thing. Except we should have made a mobile order. We did not. So we are gonna go over to the grab and go <coughs> section. I lied. No, oh no, we're gonna go to the grab and go section. We're gonna get a salad. Cause that's the quickest thing we got right now. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're also gonna get this s'mores monorail brownie. Cause that sounds really good. There's Pluto over there and goofy but i can't i can't zoom in a little bit anymore because my hands are full but we already met plutie or we already met goofy so here's the all right we're gonna stay right here so we can see the characters donald's joined over there now uh then there's goofy because he's so tall and then that's pluto's little hat uh hopefully mickey comes along and then we technically will have seen all the possible characters we could today okay so this is the chicken caesar salad and to be completely honest, we gotta kinda have to scarf it down. Um, Cause we have to leave to go to the airport kinda soon. So I'm gonna try it out. It's good. Are we surprised? No. There he is. The big cheese. What's up, uh, is he going? There he is. All right. There's Mickey Mouse. And Minnie's joined right there. Oh. Maybe she'll pop right back up. Let's see. Oh, there's Pluto. They're all over here right now. Uh, Goofy. I don't know where Mickey went. Let's see if Minnie, if Minnie comes back up. She was right there. There she, there she is. There's Minnie. And Mickey, Mickey's right there. And then Donald's been here. All right, and with this bag, bad, terrible angle, we are eating the S'mores Monorail Brownie. It is a brownie that has like roasted marshmallow on the top and a little, if I can get it out of here without breaking it, hopefully. Okay, and a little uh, chocolate, white chocolate monorail. So let's uh, give it a huge bite. Oh, it looks like it has graham cracker at the bottom as well. So. Okay, at first, um, it's definitely like, you can taste the brownie, and it tastes cold and a little dry, honestly. And then all the other flavors come in, and it tastes really, really good. Another really good option um, for transportation is what we're going to be using to get to, um, is what we're gonna be using to get to um, 
the airport, it is Uber or Lyft, but not the minivans. Cause like minivans are with Lyft, but they're completely different and they're a whole Disney owned operated brand. We are taking an Uber and the pickup for that is right outside the main entrance to the Contemporary Resort. And it's already basically here as I was walking down from the fourth floor. So we're gonna go right on out to that and it will take us to the airport. Back at the crazy, crazy, insane airport. But I don't know, I have TSA pre check, so we see, we'll see how fast I get through. Uh, 120 now, so. I quite literally, I quite literally went straight through. Okay. It is 123. We are gonna get on this tram to go to my terminal. We have about a very long time until our flight. However, we are already delayed a little bit. And yesterday when I was here, all of the flights in the Southwest terminal were very delayed. So let's hope it doesn't get to that point. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find my gate and then honestly just hang out until we board. Like there's nothing to do. All right, there's the gate. Going to OKC. Here's a little bonus mode of transportation. You can ride in your own personal car. Um, you can actually park at uh, you can actually park at Disney World. It does cost um, whether you're parking at the resort or like a park, but it, you can park at your hotel and actually drive around. So um, that being said, we're we're actually back back in OKC going back to OU but you know had to share it okay so I'm back in Norman I've actually been here for a second and we're gonna we're gonna just explain how I even got there in the first place so ever since pretty much it was announced that it was a thing that happened I've always wanted to go to the Epcot after hour events because uh, Epcot's my favorite park and I just want to see if you can actually get everything done there um, and so at the beginning of the semester I uh, looked up online just like the dates and then I saw April 4th and I was like theoretically what would I have to do to actually get there um, and so I looked it all up I found a flight I uh, then looked at my school calendar and realized that that Thursday afternoon I did not have a lab and that Friday, I did not have my discussion for one of my classes that I normally have, so I was like, hmm, this works perfectly. I think I'm going to go, and that is exactly what I did. So I hope you enjoyed this little, little thing. I am so happy that I actually got to do it, and maybe we'll get to go do another one soon. Orlando.